And to hear more good news, the next video on the series is called The Movement, uh, because there are a lot of young people out there doing something, not just sitting around waiting for the problem to be fixed uh, when it's just not being fixed fast enough. So here is The Movement. choose to take on climate change? For years it kind of looked like the answer was no. Yeah, everyone just argued over whether it was real, if we should do something, or if we could. But then, people everywhere began to get loud and say enough is enough. Thousands marched in the streets. Finally, in 2015, almost 200 countries from all around the world got together and signed the Paris Climate Accord, an agreement to keep global temperatures from rising above 2 degrees Celsius. Hey, all right. So we're all good. Um, not exactly. Now the real work begins. We gotta make sure they keep their promises. That's not automatic. It's important for the world that the U.S. steps up here. Yeah, we can't just sit back and wait for our leaders to solve this. We're running out of time. You know what they say. When the people lead, the leaders will follow. But how does that happen? When people change the world, it usually starts with a lot of them awakening to the truth of what's really going on around them. That's already starting to happen with climate change. We're getting it. Today, over 90% of people under the age of 30 agree that climate change is a real problem, and humans are responsible. Because I'm a minor, no one really thinks that I can do much to fight climate change. I want to prove them wrong. I can't stop climate change. You need optimists. When you have scientists that say, we have 10 years to reverse global climate change, you have to wake up and be optimistic. I hope people wake up and see that climate change is happening. People are losing lives at home. Like, it's real. Next, it takes lots of people doing something to show they care. There's thousands of young people out there speaking up about climate change right now, online, at home, and in their communities. Climate change is the biggest issue of my generation. We need to be the ones that are taking action and are caring the most about it. I educate my peers on environmental justice. I spoke at the state house in front of politicians, other high schools. It was really cool. I feel that we can all make a difference and we can all have a voice. Uh, this is back to what we've been learning with uh, energy transformations. So people, the kinetic energy of people stepping on this floor, uh, that motion energy gets converted into electrical energy, which can be used or stored. Same thing with the dance floor. People are dancing on that dance floor, and that motion energy, that kinetic energy, changes into electrical energy and then can be used or stored. Yeah, that's a good one too, that smog-eating building. Building has all that vegetation on it, and what do trees do when they've got sunlight? 
they're taking in that 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 carbon dioxide from the air and they're using it for food so that carbon dioxide is now out of the air and it's in the plant it's in the tree trunk that carbon is now stored and it's kept out of the air and that's what's going to help our planet is put more trees more plants especially in the cities so they can take all that carbon out and then if we stop putting carbon in uh we're going to reverse it remember the carbon that's up in the air in the atmosphere who remembers how long it stays there do you remember it was a hundred years so we got to stop and then pull it out if we're going to reduce that global temperature and reverse climate change This is our time. Together we can change the world and stop climate change. Trees. 